Good afternoon. Hi guys, it's been a while since I have made a video, but back at it. And we've got some really cool stuff going on. Um, yeah, so uh, I'm going to continue on with these little mini um, series through the Bible. And I know I did a um, little series on crossroads and and uh yeah it was it turned out pretty good and i kind of like i'm like what i'm doing and i feel called to and so i'm going to continue on I, even though it's been a while it's been kind of a, a crazy end of the year start of the first year of the new year um but we're going to press on we're going to continue on and yeah but i'm kind of excited about this new new little series that I'm going to be doing. So also we're going to be doing uh, a little catch up on what we have going on with Les Haven Ranch as well. Um, our pasture fencing is coming along. We've had some nice weather here that I've been able to continue to build. So still got some materials, still got some things to finish up, but it's, it's come along pretty good. So yeah, so I'm going to start by, you know, I haven't done one since, uh, didn't do anything through the holidays of this last season, and we were kind of like sick off and on, and then we're just like, man, what, like the whole whole family, and a lot of people we knew were just getting sick, dealing with colds. I had kind of a cold, and it would come and go, and then start of the new year, you know, we were really excited and bam i got sick again and it was like this is like the fourth week now i'm feeling better i'm kind of actually getting back to normal routine but yeah for like three weeks it was just miserable um luckily our kids didn't get it as bad or my wife didn't as well but I, yeah, well, she did get bronchitis and stuff, and she had that for quite a while. So it was like the end of the year, we we were able to have Christmas with like being sick minimal. We weren't 100%. Um, but then, yeah, it just was like it hit us hard. So we are finally, hopefully, done with that for a little bit. It was, it was just miserable. So. Our new year was a little rough, but I'm going to still start out because it is still somewhat new-ish part of 2024. So, and that's where I'm going to start is the new year, new mindset. And and that's kind of what I'm going to talk about here for a little bit. And, and we're going to feed off of that throughout this year. I'm really excited for this year. We, we had some big things happen at the end of last year, even though our health wasn't quite there. And I mean, we were like working out, eating healthy, and then boom, you know, sicknesses hit and cold after cold and then flu. And that just like threw us off. And I'm able now this week or last week, I was able to um, about Wednesday, I started my early morning routine again back to um, I haven't been able to run yet because my lungs are still a little weird and like my throat, my voice is, I, I lost my voice almost for a little bit and it's starting to finally come back, but yeah, it was just rough. So I, I had plans, but my health just was, wasn't there to start this at the beginning of the year. So we're starting now, uh, and we're just, we're, we're going to hop into it and we're going to hit it hard. So new year, new mindset. And your guys's I, I don't know how everyone's you hopefully it started out better than ours and i there were a lot of people i knew that were kind of starting out that same way just fighting this cold and flu season um but last year was pretty awesome it was hard in a lot of ways but those hardships um built into something and this year I'm excited to kind of see what we've got laid down, what is going to happen. And we're going to continue to pray. Uh, I mean, that's a big part of this year is, is um, where, and what I'm really focusing, 
focusing on is my prayer schedule and having that involved um, throughout the day, not just like morning. Um, because we have such big things going on right now that it it's constant. So every time I'm thinking about it, I, I'm like, okay, I'm going to take a moment, just pray about this. And that is a huge part of what I'm kind of focusing on with this new your new mindset. So I think with everybody, New Year's are kind of exciting because it's even if last year was hard, it's 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 like this new you get like this new burst of energy. Um I know I do and for some people it's like, hey, this is a year I'm gonna get in shape. I'm gonna do it. And you know, people have different goals and they all it always seems to start out like the beginning of the year. And I think that's awesome. A lot of people are like, hey, you know, I think a lot, you know, oh, wow, you're doing the uh, you transform yourself this year and get in shape. This is the year. And people that do that, that's just wrong because what if it is, th this is their year. And I always try to incur like encourage people this is your year. This is this is the time. Um, even if it is, you know, getting healthier. In, a big part of like what I like to do in our family is encourage, not break people down, lift people up. Um, so I'm praying that for everyone that, hey, this is the year. If it's your health, you're wanting to get into shape. I say do it. Don't worry about what other people are saying. Maybe it's a, a work situation or new job uh, or something new that you're excited about. I start, you know, now's the time. We're not guaranteed tomorrow. We're only what we have right now. Right now is what you have. So don't delay. So new year, new mindset, jump in and, uh, you know, my family and and I'm kind of like, when I get into something, I'm I, I'm trying to jump in all in, not just halfway. Because when you're in that, like, ah, oh, do I do this? Do I not? Your enemy can mislead you so easy because, like my mind, it runs, and if I overthink something, um, I can almost talk myself out of it. So. Having a strong mindset, and not just that, but you also need, in, in a way of when you're approaching stuff, also yield, because if it's not the right thing, you you can get totally off track. So. There are steps on, on how this takes place and what I touched on last year was that crossroads and making decisions and and now we're focusing on you know when those decisions are made how to stay on that right path and I just want to read the first scripture is going to be second chronicles chapter 7 I've got it right here let me get pulled up um, so this is out of the NLT Bible here in it. And what it says is this is, uh, second Chronicles chapter seven, seven, uh, verse 14. Then if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sins, and restore their land. I'm going to break that down real quick. So it, it first says humble. Humble is a huge part of everyday life. And the battle of self-pride, which as every human, we all carry pride. And um, pride can be a devastating thing. So humbleness is something that takes practice and work. It's not like you're just automatically this humble person. No, it, it's something, you include, including myself, I always have to think about is once I lose humbleness, pride can take over. 
and and that's something and i'm sure a lot of people uh, battle with but yeah so humbleness stay humble don't think highly of yourself over somebody else you know you, uh, you know i always try to think of it as um having a servant mindset no matter who it is you're working for or with is how can i serve this person doesn't matter how much money they make how much money they don't make how can you be of service to them now the, the other part of this is pray and seek my face so it, he's giving you guidelines here on what to do humble now pray which is a, a big part of what i have been talking about in the last season and and also this thing Pray, 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 because the more you pray, the more you are connected um, to our Father. To you know, you are are opening those lines of communication, and when you do that, you can stay more connected to Him, and and you you get a clearer, I guess, sight. You you can hear better. It's the power of prayer is is awesome guys so and i encourage everyone if in all things pray and it it tells you that in the bible in all things pray and man and that's something i i've really been having to work on here lately too because we've uh with the ranch and with um work and family stuff we've had a lot of craziness and crazy things happen and my old self was it was just reacting of what I thought and, and now I'm I'm changing that to well in all things pr pray I, I need to pray first before any decision is made um, so yeah um, pray and then it, here it says uh, turn from their wicked ways turn from your wicked ways because that wicked wickedness and and how you're conducting yourself in in that wickedness is inhibiting you from where god is actually planning you to go so when you do this it tells you you will hear from heaven and you will be forgiven for your sins and your lands will be restored so there's there's a when you're following these guidelines and, and you're using these steps that the bible provides there's restoration even if you feel like you're at the lowest point you've done everything wrong that's it says right here your land will be restored but this it does take work it's just not like boom uh you know i prayed everything's good i'm on the right path no for some people hey it might it hasn't for me um you know i i learned through lessons and hardships hardships are definitely a le you learn so much if everything was just easy and just boom falls right you don't really learn anything so that's the the first one um so yeah I, you know going off of, of what i just read here in second chronicles is all this is you have to continue to practice um humbling uh prayer uh forgiveness and in, in turning from those wicked ways turning from evil turning from you know if it's something you're watching that's limiting you and you know it's weird because it, the holy spirit convicts you get these things of like ah oh, this isn't right but you know that and that's conviction from the holy spirit and, I, and i've had that you know in my early walk and sometimes i still have it now you get this weird feeling of like gosh this just doesn't seem right well if you're unsure go to the bible and the answers are in there you just gotta you gotta dig a little bit so turn from them you know humble i that's something i've been working on is is humbling myself and all in all things and, and trying to help just be more humble and um you know just with the stuff we've had happen with us it's we've had a lot of hard hard things happen um even within our family and and with these it's uh in this new year it's i'm trying to catch 
and not just hang on, um, but learn from my mistakes and things that are are hard. Um, and it's I, I I've kind of got like this checklist of things I'm I'm working on and things that have happened that have been difficult or have you know kind of been troublesome in my path and it's kind of like um I listened to the sermon um from Hope City Church and and he's talking about when you let things go unchecked and he's using an example of a car and that checking engine light that comes on and if you just cover it up or you figure out how to um cover that light up or you know pull the bulb or whatever uh it's weird because our car the check engine light comes on all the time and it's so annoying and it's like what what is it this time what is it now but if you don't look into those or break those things down or you ignore them it can lead to a much bigger problem down the road more timely more costly and and so that's kind of like i'm i'm trying to use this start of the new year as you know what are some things what's what's flashing in my life right now that i should check over and get under control before I just brush it off. And down the road, it comes back and creates a bigger problem because I I didn't want to take the time to acknowledge what it was and um, through the Bible and through the Word of God to figure out the proper way on handling this stuff. So a lot of these problems, issues, hardships that we have in life there's right ways to go about them, and there's definitely wrong ways. And I think one of the wrong ways is is by not properly acknowledging them and, and taking care of it. And I have, and I've done that in my past where it's just like, yeah, this happened, whatever. I can deal with it on my own and just move on. Because facing a problem in the same way, like even with a, you know, back to that vehicle, we don't always want to deal with it right now. It's like, oh man, the change the oil. I just don't have time for that. Even though that change oil light's been on for like a thousand miles over, um, I'll eventually get to it. But that creates other problems down the road. If, if we don't stay up on this maintenance uh, within ourselves, it's it creates unhealthy problems and and so that this is something i'm also working on as well as as you know if you guys are following along i'm tackling this too and uh, you know i'm doing the same thing so don't let things go unchecked and unguarded because it it, it will cost you more in the long run so it's almost better just to take that time, even if you have to get up earlier in the morning or stay up a little later. It's these are things, you know, for me to move on. This is what I have to do. Uh, you know, I, I got to figure out why this happened, you know, in the right way to go about these. So. Yeah, we don't want to just let it go unchecked, go unguarded. And seek the Lord through all of it because when you do or or when you avoid what is going on in your life the enemy creeps in and manipulates and spins it around and starts throwing things in your mind that are not true so we we want to grasp um uh, and I'll use an example that I've had previously is is financial struggle and um we myself i would just hey i'll worry about it next month and then it wouldn't get any better and dealing with payments here and payments there and until we actually broke down made a budget and figured out exactly where our money is going 
if if we would have just let that continue and it happens to a lot of people if you don't figure out what is going on and you just keep brushing it off or you know putting it off in a long time or over time it builds up to a bigger mess and that's what i personally went through or you know way back in the day is i didn't take my finances seriously and it over a period of time of just you know whatever it'll eventually work itself out it did and it finally caught up and then when we you know then it was this if i would have just handled it before that was a bigger problem that we had I, I myself had, you know and, and family had to figure it out and luckily i had support you know my wife was super supportive and but boom it hey a lot of extra hard work was needed but i knew it could be done and that's the thing is like even wherever you're at it can be fixed things can you know but you got to do it about the and go about it the right way so we went you know i went to what does the word say about finances and then i started okay well you know money is not a bad thing how it is used can be evil but um it can also be a huge blessing and and that's what i came to realize it used to be just something to survive and now we're trying to use it to bless others and we have a budget now we know where our finances are going and what it what it costs to live a month now even with two kids and so that was you know just an example of something i had happen and you know it was an experience that it, you know if it didn't happen the way it did i don't know if i would have learned as much as i did because it was something once i i knew it was of god and i really broke into it and how man finances are can be god's glory it it changed my whole perspective and i look at money totally different yeah there are times where it can get stressful here and there but i know through what the word of god says that i don't let it affect me like it used to so yeah guys seek him don't let that enemy creep in and um i'm going to jump into another verse here isaiah 26 verse 3 and it says uh so yeah I mean, isaiah tw uh chapter 26 verse 3 you will keep in perfect peace. You will keep in perfect peace all who trust in you, all whose thoughts are fixed on you. So keep those, you know, keep that thought on on Jesus. Is you know, like let's use the financial thing. Again. I was struggling. I'm like, okay, God, I use that, and I went to Him every day on hey, this is really bugging me. I feel like I'm drowning. And every day I just had, I, I went to the word. I used the word to help me figure out what I needed to do. And it was, it was super power. I mean, when I look back on, on how things happened, it was just like, wow, there is no way I did that by myself or, you know, we did this by ourselves. This it is humanly impossible the things that we had happen and so it, it was crazy and maybe one of these days i'll get more into depth of of everything that happened financially but i'm just using this for an experience or, or you know an example right now so yeah it seek him um you know put your thoughts if you're if something that is bugging you put it on the lord because as humans we are unable to carry that load those burdens if you're tired and weary throw those burdens upon the on the, the lord so i encourage you guys to look up those verse i mean they're super powerful and this is, uh, I, I try to keep these under half hour here. We're almost at 25 minutes, but um, this is a time and not only, you know, for 
start of the new year, guys, I, I you know, I'm, I'm trying to start a pruning process. What is limiting me from getting closer to the dream God has shown me? And I need to cut some, there are things that I need to get rid of in my life. And it's, it, there, it's it can be tough. Like there's times where I, you know, I struggle. Um, but I, I want to do this pruning process of, of, I don't need this. I need this. If it is going to get me there quicker, faster, and stronger, that's what I want. So this pruning thing, it's not easy it can be very difficult because sometimes it's dealing with uh people um places you know maybe it's for some of you social media uh tv um, games I, I don't know what it there's there's usually something in everybody's life that um is something we don't need or it, it needs to be limited so it's pruning is never easy, but the outcome is so rewarding. So when you're unsure, you can always trust the word of God. The word of God is our filter. Um, if the more we are in the word of God, the more we start feeling convicted on what we need to get rid of. And that's not, you know, what we need to get rid of is not going to be the same for everybody. Um, but it's, it's what God is telling you to do personally. Our adventure, yeah, we've, uh, you know, we've had to weed some people out and some people we thought were going to, you know, be super beneficial in our lives didn't turn out to be. Um, and that's, you know, that it is, it's not easy. It can be super hard, but we're, we're praying through it all. And by being obedient, the outcome of what has happened has been well worth it. Now, and there's been some crazy things where people that we have lost communication with over a long time, and, and not just me, but my wife, they have came back into our, our lives. And I mean, it is just so awesome how that happened. And because it's been a, a period of a lot of praying, but the word is, is our filter. And so, man, I've pushed a lot of things that I thought I needed in my life out and I've benefited, you know, it's been beneficial for me big time. So I'm excited for this new bit. This, it's not the new year, but hey, we're a couple months in here, but it kind of feels like new to me because Man, I just was feeling rough. So I'm like starting now. My health's getting better. I'm kind of getting back into a routine here. Um, my early morning time with God, which I, you know, I really cherish that. And, uh, you know, I like to have that part of my life. But when I was sick, it was just, dang, like 7 o'clock rolls around. and I just didn't have, yeah, it was rough. But, yeah, so now I'm kind of getting back into it and, I feel great, feel good about it. So we're going to continue on with this new year, new mindset. I have a, a lot more coming. Um, and hey, guys, even with Less Haven, if you guys want to see what we have going on there with the horse rescue, check that stuff out. But on the YouTube stuff, I'm going to kind of just keep it more um, God-oriented. And not that our other stuff isn't because we're doing everything by what the Lord is calling us to do. And our number one thing is, uh, even with Less Haven, is um, Jesus first and everything else second. So that's what our, our outline, pretty much our, our, you know, we're walking blind faith through all of this. So if you guys like, you know, want to follow along, I yeah, encourage you to send it to somebody that maybe needs needs it even if you guys don't want to watch it you just want to listen which i do a lot of on uh youtube servants is i don't watch them but i i just listen to them so if that's something you guys like to do hey do it i'm not doing this for the likes or hey follow me um no i just god just 
I, I'm just kind of going by what God has said. And he's like, hey, I, I have some things I want you to say. Maybe there's somebody out there that needs to hear this. So I'm trying to be obedient in what God has called me to do. Um, but it, it does take work. Hey, I got to push myself to get up early sometimes to get in his word right away before the day creeps in and boom, you're bombarded with, uh, I got to fix this. I got to do this. Oh, the kids need that, you know? So that's kind of my start of the year is, man, I got to put God first. And so I, I got to push it here a little bit. Got to get up really early and get that time with him before the world tries to take control. So yes, guys, um, thank you for watching. Um, if you got if anyone watching needs prayer, pre, please reach out in any of our social media platforms or even comment on here. There's been a couple people that I, you know, I don't know, but they asked for prayer and you know, that's something I take very serious and continue to pray um, for those people that do. So, Lord God, um, let's just end in prayer here real quick. We're just over 30 minutes. So, God, thank you uh, for your word uh, being that filter to our lives. So we're excited for this new year. Um, and we know that when those storms come, God, that your word is what carries us through that relationship with you. And the more we know you when those hardships happen, we know that you get us through. And so we are just excited for this year. Whatever comes, God, we want to glorify you and honor you. And we thank you for your son, Jesus Christ. We pray all this. Amen. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. Um, I'll be throwing up a little bit video of vid other videos about the fencing that we're doing too. So, okay, guys. Thank you. God bless.